Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign, a campaign where we're trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty with niche builds, off-meta items, less hit points and stronger enemies through ABA. The details of all of the challenges are in the doobly-doo below if you are interested. So today is going to be Operation Hunting or Haunting Spark rather sabotaging the alien facility together with the viper king so that's going to be quite interesting i'll bring the a team together with our uh, new spark primos and uh, primos is going to join us for the first time we'll be more or less responsible for the shredding because we didn't have that on the team yet so great to have that ability from the get-go Overall, it is a balanced team. Reckoner is hopefully going to uh, lead us to victory. However, that being said, the alien rulers are an actual problem because of their ruler um, action point um, yeah, interactivity. So what we will need to do is we will need to um, hopefully catch him off guard and use a couple of strategies that I'll go through in the video to eventually kill him. Good. So, let's uh, start. So, whilst we're landing, let me talk a bit about the alien ruler and their um, action economy. Normally, there are a couple of weapons, and we potentially should have uh, prioritized researching them. But the alien ruler weapons themselves are the natural bane of the alien rulers. So. For instance, the axe uh, will use a free action. Uh, there are other options like the frost grenade that will essentially freeze them for two rounds. And there are yet again other options uh, such as the bolt caster, which will stun them for one round. Long story short, the idea of those weapons is that you are eventually going to uh, yeah, beat their action economy with the proper gear. Unfortunately, we don't have that gear yet, so we will need to deal with it our way. Confirmed. And let's put the sniper a bit further back. That way we can take shots without triggering reactions. So our way of dealing with uh, the aliens will be to A, use a scout so that, that we can catch the alien ruler off guard, and B, hopefully use an overwatch trap to make sure that the alien ruler is being caught with their pants down, so to speak. Spectre and shield bearer. Well, I think we can take those. Let's go for Dead Eye. Holy shit. Very nice. That almost killed the Spectre. Our resistance contacts had heard rumors Advent might be rolling out a heavy infantry armor system. Looks pretty tough. Okay. Well, hello there. First off, let's try to get this guy. All right. Okay. Should have thought that's fully through, but we luckily do have a uh, re-stealth, so that's fine. Eight protocol down there. And whilst we're at it. Let's kill the Spectre. Enemy down. Starting to shred his armor. Starting to set him up really well. I might have used a bat, that one before, because it's actually holo-targeting them nicely. I could have used more cooldowns 
just to get him. But we're fine. Okay, so that was our that was our uh, phantom concealment number one. I gotta be careful here. Quick feed needs to reconceal. Now I can't really reach. Eighty percent for the purifier. Good enough for me. Let's try getting this guy down. Fortunately, not good enough for the game. That's a good timing for an overdrive. That's one down. Oh, come on. Okay, so if we were to move down to here, Position confirmed. that would automatically kill the purifier. <clears throat> okay. Enemy eliminated. Overwatch, Overwatch, and let's conceal here and also reload Overwatch. Wouldn't have needed to reload, we do have an auto loader. Anyways. Good. Our overwatch action is to reposition. We could simply... We could simply leave him, uh, leave him there. On your order. But I would want to kill as many as we can and then prepare for the actual fight. Huh, of course, sometimes you've got to pull additional ones. No surprise. Grenade out. This will force our grenade. Start hitting that Newton. Because it it's the most dangerous foe. We could pull up, but I don't want to do that. Instead, let's reposition and make sure that we can kill both of them. Mutant is down. Father really outdid himself, didn't he? Efficiency is Sector expected. is also down. This weapon is empty. Orders confirmed. Moving out. And we got all of them in one go. Concealed Ranger goes in. Yeah, that core is nice. Advanced scope is fantastic. And some intel. That's great loot. All around. 
Good. Now, since we are caught with our pens down, really important to get back up there. Using the time to reload, focus, redistribute our uh, our forces up here. All right. A couple more turns until the cooldowns are back. Overdrive would be nice. Dead Eye would definitely be nice. Ready to rock. I'm on the move. Moving a bit closer. Who would we put to the front line? No one at this point. Roger, I've got my eyes on. On Let's just wait. Enemy movement ahead. Eventually, the guy will move into us. I just want to be careful because all of the fights so far have just been a starter, so to speak. The real challenge is still to come. We can deal with a super heavy turret slowly but surely. Negative damage. I'll monitor that. Come get some. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's wait a second. We do have Grab that bot. Hey, where? So that could actually be helpful. So what is he going to do? If we have taken that over. Well, apparently that's not going to work. We can try in a couple of rounds again. Alright, let me try again. Subject Gamma. Rowan created a Viper King. Just what we needed. Okay, before we're being pinned, I want to get out of the range. I'm on it. Guard duty it is. Tracking on sight. Got it covered. Overwatch. Okay, the Viper King will slowly come to us. Good position now. Is that generator explodable? If it would stand next to the generator, that would be fantastic. But I think it, it'll <clears throat> just go around here. Rocket launcher would help us all the way. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is... <clears throat> that's... Overwatch... Yes. Let's eight protocol. And yet again, Overwatch. Let's Overwatch here. We're going to go into overdrive. And we start with shredding it. Ah, we could barely hit the generator back there. But okay, cool. Good, that's the shredding we were looking for. Looks like one of them came back for more. Let's make sure to take it out this time. 
Okay, can't hit, can't hit him from here. This here would shred the Viper King even further. All right, perfect. And now we're getting our overwatch shots in. That's how you do it. Come on. All right, let's go. Oh, it was a miss, but thanks to the stock, we're still fine. Fantastic. Chain shot. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, he dodged the second one. Trying to summon a gate. <laughs> okay, that worked perfect. That is exactly how you can deal with the guy. Dead eye to deal as much damage as possible. Come on. Oh, oh another dodge. Unfortunate. Couple of dodges. But we got the guy down to half hit points. Thanks to our overwatch. That was awesome. Very good. It's killing time. Good. Roger that. that was a fun fight. Okay, I think we're also going to move the sniper up, to be honest. Building that nice little fire line. What an interesting start. <clears throat> we hit it. And then... Our bets were off. And we were essentially just mauling it before it even reached uh, the point that was great at the point where uh, it was actually gaining some traction we were already like halfway into the hit points good time to move up like i mentioned we're looking for that fire line Ports moves up here. There now. There's still a heck around, I suppose. Let's, ju uh, let's just see. We're scanning. Well, there's a tower, and that's it. Okay. Alright, moving up. And next round we're going to take the tower. Potentially another enemy right in there. Okay, interesting. Well, before we got uh, before we we're dealing with two of these guys. How about we're just shutting one down? Because I don't want to deal with both of them. If the shutdown doesn't work, 
We're just going to do a hidden hidden run tactic. Okay, so that one is disabled. Fantastic. Pizza cake. For the next two, uh, for the next turn, it will actually not uh, bother us. This one there is going to be shredded. That's good. I'm on it. Let's make sure everybody can hit it. So we're marking it. Not good. I hate moving into the open. Not my favorite place. Super heavy towers. Hit the armor. Tactical movement. All right, that's one down. And that is two down. Green to go. Reload. And let's mark that other tower. Which is marked, but is super tough. Good to move Got to take those uh, towers a bit more serious. <clears throat> our weapon, our weapons are just not on par with them yet. just going to use combat protocol like I said the armor is quite something else oh Jessica finally got her promotion well congratulations There's still enemies around? Yes. Elsewise. Elsewise we would already see no alien interaction. No need to ask twice. Let's put Jessica up there. And let's take a moment to appreciate that we need to reload. Someone must be still within. I'm ready. Back in. Good to go. Jessica also reloads. That's affirmative. <clears throat> Moving to Overwatch. Scanning. Affirmative. Covering now. Yeah, they must potentially be up here or downstairs, but yeah, in, in that direction. This is not the perfect shooting line. This one here is bad as well. What could work is if we're positioning her right over here. That way once the door opens she has decent line of sight. And Cliffy can be the one opening the door. Okay. 
Moving in. Same deal upstairs. I'm compelled to agree. Yes, okay, everybody takes a blue move. Heading out. Still not convinced that we're alone in here. Might be just tower over here, to be honest. Understood. Moving out. Which would be hilarious. I'm like taking it super serious. Everybody slowly moves. We make an overwatch crawl. And then, then at the end of the day, it is a tower. All right, well, we got what we came here for. Menace one five, status confirmed. X four charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. On Overwatch. Sounds like a job. Sounds like a job. Affirmative. Covering now. It seems there's no one. Well, guess what? My suspicion paid out, because that is actually a hard pack to deal with. That's a fully loaded and prepared pack. Plus reinforcements. Yeah, I think that is one of those moments where you're checking if everybody can evac and then you're just piecing out. Upstairs, yep, and very much so. Alright, see you later guys. I'll take a flawless mission without lots of willpower loss over one with a few more kills. Because we already got what we were looking for. We got the uh, alien ruler, even down to half hit points and uh, shredded its entire armor. And on top of that, we managed to flawless uh, this mission. Many will potentially not even be tired after this mission which would be a great win because i want to use them on the next missions all right well we got three tired but also two promotions number one <clears throat> i would definitely go with face off normally here because it's such a great skill and now we're going with kill zone which will be interesting because i i feel that uh, jessica is playing a vital role in this campaign so far she's done really well the return fire hasn't really helped us at all uh, kill zone however will be also interesting because we don't have a long watch so it won't trigger off of uh, uh, off of um, squad side so it's not as good as the combination normally would be but maybe i will find a few options where kill zone is the right place threat assessment is just so good I would always take that, but in this case we're taking Covering Fire, which isn't bad either, so, but Threat Assessment is much better. So we got a bit of an Overwatch team here, Elarium Core, yes please, Advanced Scope, absolutely yes please. 
and an alienator cache. Plus, so here's the deal, we reduce the avatar pro uh, progress by two, that in itself is great, but that second part is often underestimated, you've got to keep that in mind for the next four weeks, there won't be any more building of advent facilities, the game essentially, or the project essentially grinds to a halt, and that is good, that's exactly what we were looking for, um, put on top of that, that every single month we're um, taking away one blip, and you got a nice combination going for us. If you thought the elders were unhappy with you before, there is a scientist over here and we're definitely going to take that. Scientist is worth around 105, 110 intel at this point in the game. So definitely will go to upgrade. And there is 100 intel plus 88, uh, 188 supplies. Luckily I did not um, I did not tire out the entire team because now we can use the same guys on Operation Golden Rhyme. Let's take a short look how that would look like. So yeah, we got Frodo here, Reckoner, Wurz. That's a solid core team. Quick feet is tired, but that's okay. We can always use Circum. And yeah, potentially the spark is that also needs some more experience. Good, we'll, we'll eventually do that. Uh, do we have anything to do here? No. Gauss weapon means sniper upgrades, we want to have that. Uh, potentially a bit short on alloys, but we will see. We will have enough supplies, so that'll be fine. I think it was 15 um, alloys for the sniper upgrade, so that would be good. The supplies would fund the next upgrade. We got experimental ammunition here, which is fantastic. And we have a new core, which then again means we can get more experimental ammunition or even better, an experimental grenade. An exosuit would also be awesome. Are we going to take one? I mean, not without first having another experimental heavy weapon. Because I don't want to go, um, I, I don't want to kind of game the system but by having multiple multiple explosives so yeah potentially i'll i'll hold up uh, hold off on this also it costs too many alien alloys i rather want the sniper upgrade so we're not going to do that yet this brings us to the end of today's episode guys i i wish you a nice and a great remaining day if you enjoy the content feel free to also put a like and a comment down below that would mean a lot to me and see you in the next episode bye bye